racing and forgot that I was steering. I jumped the curb before I noticed I was veering. But I'm due to tweet and I got something to say. So if you're crossing the street, you best get out of the way. No need to stand there looking so perplexed. I just got a seven test. Hello, welcome to Melodic Makeup. My name is Alexandra and welcome to today's video. July favorites! This is my first ever favorites video that I have posted and I am so excited because I have a few things but a little good things to talk about today. Things that I've been loving for beyond since just the month of July. Um, just loving in general. Let's get it started with some makeup remover wipes. I love these. These are eye makeup remover wipes, specifically from Dollar General, um, and they were super cheap, obviously. I think they were 50 cents or a dollar. It comes with 30 wipes, and I love these because while my face wash does a great job of getting all of my face makeup off, so I don't always even need to use an actual makeup remover wipe for my whole face, um, the mascara is never all the way gone. So I use these, and it takes it off right away, really easy, really quickly. These are amazing. Go find them. Next, I love the Dream Street palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It has gorgeous orangey tones and then a couple pops of blue that just make my soul sing. And I use this palette all the time. You can do something super easy and neutral if you just put um, this one and this one on and then maybe do a little highlight with this one um, and there you're good to go but you can obviously also do fun more bright looks um, more dramatic looks I love this palette find it online at ColourPop um, it was very very reasonably priced I think it was $16 for 12 shadows and it's just amazing next is a book this is called Made to Crave by Lisa Tierkirst. She is the head of Proverbs 31 Ministries. This book, the subtitle is Satisfying Your Deepest Desire with God, Not Food. I have struggled most of my life with a relationship with food, overeating, binge eating, eating in secret, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, gaining more weight, which is kind of where I'm at right now. But this book is really helping me get back on track and finding a good reason to get back on track other than I don't like how I look and feel. Um, there's a much deeper purpose behind it all. And so this book is really opening my eyes to it. There's also a companion companion devotional, a 60 day devotional that goes with it. Um, and each day is what, like two maybe-ish pages. It's quick reading, but just so good for the heart and soul. So I highly, highly recommend this. I got it off Amazon. Next, got those, this. Okay, people, I know I'm late to the game, but actually I have both of them here. This came in my first BoxyCharm last month, the June BoxyCharm, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. And yes, it's Boom Boom, not Bum Bum, from what I understand. It smells so good. <laughs> it feels amazing on the skin. I've used almost all of it, if you can see, into my little container. This is obviously just the sample size. There's a full size, but it's like $45. So. I bought the hand cream until I can save up to get the full size and it smells just like the potted one um, but it's a little bit more um, moussey and a thicker formula for the hands and I love it so much I've already used a ton of it but it was worth it because oh my gosh it's so good and it smells so good and it does the job I love products that smell great but if they don't do what I need them to do then it's not worth it and this really does it so Yep. All right. Just a few more. This is pretty short. Um, this is if you saw my last video and what I'm on my lips, what what I am on my lips, what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Vitamin C. It is just a really beautiful kind of orangey tone, but something about the blotted lip formula is magical because you swipe it on and it's like it blurs your lips and it just makes it they they call it like the you just ate a popsicle kind of a look where there's a wash of color that's definitely there but it's not like bam overpowering you know like a true lipstick would be and it's just I love it so much it wears really well um, 
and it dries down matte, which I like. I like matte lips to an extent, of course. Anything that makes me feel like I have desert face, I don't really dig, but this doesn't do that, so highly recommend. The Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots are incredible. I have two shades. Um, I should probably go get the other shade. Okay, I got the other shade, so here they both are, same packaging and everything. This one is in the shade Top Yacht, and this one is in the shade Sun Drenched, and I'll show you swatches real quick. So it's basically a loose pigment, um, and it's got these really interesting kind of oils in them to keep it, what is up with my hand? It's like hair sticking up or something. Anyway. So when you put it on and you kind of smudge it out, it just turns into this amazing highlight, reflective, stunning, this one's Top Yacht, and then, that was a fun sentence, a stunning, this is Top Yacht, good for me. <laughs> and here we are with Sun Drenched. They started actually putting a little tamper down in with them um, after the first few released and they started making more shades. So. Um, that's a thing, I guess. So Sun Drenched is a lot more deeper gold, and oh, I love it. It's just amazing. I love them so much. Oh, I don't use them enough. I need to use, I just want to use them all the time. But, you know, as a school teacher, you don't want to come to school and, like, full glam and, like, all this glitter and shine and stuff. You need kids to not say, wow, you have a lot of makeup on today. You know what I'm saying? But I just love them so much. I can't help it. Next is another eyeshadow. This is from L'Oreal. It is the in Infallible Paints Metallics. This is in the shade Brass Knuckles. And... I cannot explain how incredible the quality of this metallic shadow is. It feels so smooth when you put it on your finger. I always apply shimmers and metallics with my finger, always, always, always. Um, and then when you swipe it on your eye, you just get just this amazing brassy copper color that lasts all day long and is it's not overpowering like you you would think that would be kind of overpowering on the eye but it's really not and i would imagine for deeper skin tones it could be a pretty banging highlight so just kind of keep that in mind they have i think there are five or six shades um ranging from a rose gold there's a purple a silver uh i don't remember what the other one is but they're really good highly recommend from walmart Next is the brushy brush. I used this in my last video as well. This is a travel size elf blending brush and I love this brush. I use it when I'm not traveling. It's just so good because it's so, so fluffy and so soft and I'm sorry it's not clean but I'm not one who's very disciplined about cleaning her brushes every single day. Um, but it's, it's just words. You hear them interpret them, understand them. Yes, good product. And last, right? Yes, last. The thing that I talk about way too much, the LA Colors Strobing Illuminating Powder in Champagne. This is one of the prettiest highlights I've ever used. Three dollars at Dollar General. And, yeah, LA Colors has been killing it lately. They've released some palettes that are about probably about this big, with, I want to say, probably ten shades in them. Um, there's a neutrals palette and a cool palette that's got kind of blues and grays in it, and I really want both of them, so I think I might get them pretty soon. But, um, yeah, LA Colors is doing really amazing. Don't, don't ever, you know, turn your nose up at dollar store makeup, because some of it is really, really, really good. Um, well, I know that was kind of short and sweet, but those are my favorites for this month. Um, let me know what you have been liking and if you have any other recommendations for me to try. I tend to stick to drugstore, um, but occasionally I'll splurge, like, on the paint pots, um, and I'll get something really fancy. So, let me know what you've been loving. Let me know what else you want to see. Cat hair. Let me know what else you want to see, um, 
from me in the future, let's find out what our song of the video was. Today's song is called The Texting Song from Dave Tull. He is a jazz musician um, from the album Texting and Driving. It's a hilarious album. Um, a lot of his tunes are really kind of tongue-in-cheek. There's one about um, how he runs into this guy at the airport that he played tons of gigs with for decades, but he just cannot remember his name. And there's another one about this date that he takes to a jazz club and she's kind of derpy but she's really beautiful but she keeps clapping on one and three and that's like deal breaker um so let's listen to a little bit of the texting song i know i ought to pay attention to my driving but another instant message is arriving when my smartphone back as i just got a reply i can't wait 10 seconds so i'll probably die in the auto wreck that happens i just got a sip so that is the texting song by Dave Toll. I will have all products mentioned uh, and linked, as well as the song linked and Dave Toll um, stuff down below in the description box. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Why am I doing the YMCA? I don't know. Have a good day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.